What's up guys, Tucker Jobs Gaming here and welcome to another episode of Tactic Testing and Instructions. Now this tactic is called the Remembering Kevin Francis. If none of you know who Kevin Francis is, um, he was best known for being a striker for Stockport County. He was 6 foot 7, an absolute beast, uh, scored 117 goals for them. And uh, I, think, I think he was actually named as their player of the century. So uh, yeah, it's all about the target man on this uh, tactics, the 4-4-2, but it plays a target man. Uh, you don't see a lot of tactics with the target men in there, so it's going to be interesting to see how that does. And a few of the comments that I've got on previous videos. Um, one was wanted to see this tactic with Romelu Lukaku. Uh, so obviously that explains why I'm going to be having Inter Milan in this tactic, Romelu Lukaku as the target man. And another um, comment wanted a tactic on Fiorentina and uh, just any tactic would do. So double bubble. Uh, making both happy, I've got Fiorentina and Inter Milan in this video. Another double bubble episode, one uh, one save, two teams, um, both in the Italian league. Uh, tactics on both of them. We're going to be looking at both of them through the uh, season, midway and end. And uh, yeah, see how it does. So uh, if you're liking all the content so far, guys, subscribe, like, uh, or just carry on coming on, watching all the channels, and hopefully it's uh, helping you out. So yeah, let's get to the video. They took our jobs! What's up guys? Tucker Jobs Gaming and like in the intro we are with Inter Milan and Fiorentina. Top right corner look. Both teams, one save, one run through with the tactic O Nikola Zigic or the remembering Kevin Francis. Uh, I'm guessing this tactic is there because we are using a target man. Target man up front and we have chosen Lukaku to be the target man for Inter Milan. Um, obviously this tactic was asked for kind of by a couple of fans of the channels they wanted to see this tactic with Lukaku another fan wanted uh, a tactic on Fiorentina so I've got them both there for them and also someone asked me earlier uh, to try and find a counter-attacking or defensive tactic and uh, luckily I've just looked on this tactical style custom direct counter-attack awesome so I'm hitting three people uh, what they actually are fancying at the minute and uh, Hopefully this video will satisfy them. So, there is no player instructions at all. We are all good. There's no individual marking or anything with all these players. So, we can skip straight past that one and go to the tactical style. So, it's positive mentality. Uh, not too attacking, but you're not uh, playing standard football either. You are pretty confident that you're going to win the match, basically. And uh, in possession, fairly wide attacking width, passing in space. Passing in space is obviously your when you pass uh, to, to a team member. Um, every now and again, you will pass forward into space for that team member to run onto. Uh, play out defence. So you're you're telling your team to play out defence and not move the ball up from the defence. And um, and also none none of the others are highlighted up, so uh, you're not um, focusing play on one side or another you have free roam over the whole pitch passing directness standard so not too short not too direct um so yeah pretty stand basically standard um, you're not going to go for the goal uh try and go route one and you're not going to try and keep possession by short passing just a little bit in the middle tempo slightly higher slightly higher basically you're going to pass the ball around slightly faster uh, work ball into box that's pretty standard now for all these tactics it's just so you don't waste your shots on long daft shots and um, you've got more more likely to score some goals there because uh, you're waiting for the more opportune moment to um to, to shoot on goal and hopefully you score uh, run at defense that's obviously good for the uh, players that are good dribblers and uh, good agility to try and beat the defense um, with the ball and hopefully get into the final third and uh, and get a goal um, in transition, counter press and counter. Uh, yeah, so you lose the ball, you're going to counter press. All right. As soon as uh, as soon as they get the ball, you're going to get their, your players. Your players are going to press them, try and win the ball back. And when you win the ball back, you are on the counter attack. Um, distribute to fullbacks uh, is telling your goalkeeper basically when he passes to players, pass to the fullbacks, and that's where most of your game is going to start. So out of possession, use offside trap. Basically telling your defenders to play smart, keep a nice tight back line and uh, force their players offside whenever they can. Uh, much higher line of engagement and much higher defensive line. You are ready. Ready and raring to go for when you win that ball back with pressed intensity, extremely urgent. As soon as you get the ball back, a lot of your players are already forward to start the attack. Um, use tight marking, self-explanatory. 
you're basically adapting a system where it says it there look adapt a marking system in defensive situations where they are encouraged to stick particularly close to their signed opponent but you have no signed opponents so you'll be sticking close to the default opponent so obviously your defender centers will defaultly mark and zonal mark their attackers left back for attacking rights and right back for attacking lefts and you know all that malarkey defensive width you're telling your players to basically sacrifice the wide areas of the game so they can come in and guard the center so that is that for them let's go to the set piece instructions for corner the uh, defending the defending uh, corners left and right and attacking corners left and right free kicks defending free kicks left and right and they are pretty much the same all the way through so we're just gonna go on attacking so attacking free kicks left and right attacking free kicks direct with a small chance of shot right and left attacking indirect wide free kicks left and right and attacking indirect deep free kicks right and left hopefully you know what all these symbols mean stay back get forward and all that malarkey if you need a hand just pause the video and uh, copy it that way take a snapshot anything that will help you uh, get these this information onto your pc or phone and finally the throw-ins so that's the defending right defending left and this is the attacking left and attacking right that's all the instructions for the team and the tactic now uh, as i've said we are with fiorentina and inter milan and hopefully they do well and i'll see you in january Right, January the 1st, 2020, midway through. Quick recap on how everyone is doing. So, Lutaro Martinez is doing absolutely fantastic for Inter Milan. He is sitting the top with 17 goals. Condreva for Inter, average rating, also sitting at top. Again, first and second in the assists. Romelu Lukaku with eight assists. So, that uh, target man uh, role that he has been given is doing pretty good. Uh, let's have a look at his stats. So, overall, he has scored nine and assisted ten. Uh, he's doing the whole lot and yeah it's working pretty well for him he's six foot three at the end of the day he's got a jump and reach of 17 heading 16 so he is a very good target man anyway full greens on there so it suits him down to the ground um fiorentina as you can see there they are seventh uh eight wins three draws six losses 27 points and into milan off third i'm happy with that at the end of the day they are predicted to come eighth so the predicted to come eighth, I would say I'm happy with fifth. Fifth? Yeah, I'm happy with fifth. And obviously Inter Milan, the plan is for them is to win the league. Uh, hopefully that happens. We shall see in a bit. So for Inter Milan, let's have a look at the squad and who's playing well. Well, best player there, 3 and 12, playing 7.79. Uh, 7 uh, Antonio Condreva. Uh, Lutaro Martinez, 23 goals, 1 assist. Romelu Lukaku, 9 and 10 there, playing absolutely fantastic. Let's switch to Fiorentina. Let's have a look at their squad. Best players, Chiza, uh, 7 and 4. Ribery, 2 and 5. The old boy is injured now, but he's still going strong at 36. Uh, then you've got uh, Castro Villi. Uh, four and three playing 7.27 so everyone's playing pretty good obviously inter milan are doing slightly better than fiorentina uh, i'll go over obviously the um stats later but let's have a look how the head-to-head -head went so they went against inter milan and inter milan won the first game 6-3 what a scoreline that was so who scored in that one romelu lukaku romelu lukaku lotaro Mar martinez oh he scored four martinez did uh, and Devridge uh, scored as well and Christian am I saying this right Christian Kume uh, and Cyril Theroux Frank Ribery uh, they scored their three so everyone's playing pretty good uh, they are still in the Italian Cup and Inter Milan let's have a look at their schedule they are still in the Champions Cup group they actually come second and qualified in their group they are still in the italian cup obviously because that come, that's not coming yet and yeah everything's going good so far see you at the end of the season right end of the season and inter milan came second that's such a shame they had a brilliant game cristiano ronaldo absolutely smashed it for, for Juventus, uh, juventus and came first with 29 goals but 
Romelu Lukaku and Martinez came second and third with 27 and 26. Romelu Lukaku with 27 goals as a target man. I just can't wait to see how many uh, assists he actually has. But the player of the match award does go to Romelu Lukaku. 13. More than double Cristiano Ronaldo. So uh, Romelu Lukaku must have had an absolute stormer of a season. Uh, came second and third with average ratings. And we also came first with the assists. And that's all into Milan. I see no Fiorentina there whatsoever. But they came sixth. I'm happy with sixth. They qualified for European football. Finished on 67 points. Wasn't quite the fifth that I predicted. But uh, it's surely better than the eighth that they were uh, predicted to get uh, by the media. And Inter Milan, they were predicted second. Came second. So they can't moan at that. Uh, at least the tactic doesn't make the team worse. Uh, maybe... Oh, maybe if Cristiano Ronaldo had a bit of a worse season for uh, Juventus, we could have probably nicked first place, but the lad's immense. The lad is immense. Yeah. 39 goals in all competitions. Awesome. So let's have a look at Romelu Lukaku. How did he do in that target man role? So he played every single game in the target man role, and he ended up with overall 38 goals, 14 assists. That's absolutely amazing. And Lutaro Martinez, 37 goals and 5 assists. Them pair work very well together. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with the target man and advance forward combination. The big guy, little guy, it's always going to work. It always has worked in the past. I don't know why most uh, some teams now in real life, they don't, don't try and adapt the old way back. It's a, it's a much missed aspect of the game, I think. Um, so yeah, what do you think, guys? Bring back the uh, big guy, little guy in real life. I mean, why aren't more teams doing it? Um, so, yeah, everyone played absolutely amazing. Looking at the schedule for Inter Milan. And we are... Look at that. Haven't even played that game. We're in the Champions Cup final. That's actually surprising. I totally forgot that we were in that. And I just, I just obviously, in my head, went to the end of league games. Right, this one's going to be a bit of a special episode now then. Bugger it. I'm going to play this game all right, against Barcelona. Uh, we did very well. Uh, unfortunately, we went out in the Italian quarter, uh, Cup quarter final against Juventus. And let's have a quick look at how Fiorentina did. Um, their team did, 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 did. Right, top scorer was Theroux with 14. He was the, was he the target man for them? Yes, he was, and that's because he's six foot two. He hasn't got the greatest stats in the world, but he's not an Inter Milan at the end of the day. Um, but he is all right, and he is all right as a, as a target man. He did he didn't do too bad, did he? Uh, Fourteen goals, and then Kume was the advance forward. Uh, got thirteen. Uh, the biggest supplier of the team was Frank Ribery. What an old boy! Thirty seven now, still got eight, 18 dribbling, eighteen first touch, anticipation, composure. Tell you what, if he just had those slightly better physicals, he would still be an absolute machine. He's, he's been a quality player. He's, I think he's been there for my whole life um, playing. I mean, he's, how old is he? He's eight years older than me. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, they did absolutely great. So, right, bugger it. Let's get to this game uh, against um, Barcelona in the Cup and let's uh, see how this is going to go. Ooh. Alright, okay. Where are we going? Let's play it. Come on. Right, I'm going to just retire from the uh, Fiorentina team. You've seen how they've done. They've done brilliantly. Uh, let's have a look at the quick look at their analysis of um, Fiorentina. So two at the back in the centre. So the... Uh, well, might be some long balls from the defenders. Obviously, the uh, midfielders might be dropping a bit deeper and going forward, and it's pretty standard where the goal is going to be scored because you're working the ball into the box. And assist locations, left and right, is pretty even. Um, it's pretty much even around the whole area, really. The uh, team worked very well together. And uh, everyone, every, it looks like here, everyone pretty much chipped into where they wanted to go. Total scored 94, total conceded 61. Not great stats for overall competitions. Um, but it managed to get them sixth, and I'm guessing they're happy with that. They're going to get uh, European football, get some more money in. Hopefully, obviously, if this is if this is a team you want to be, that will give you more money to start building for the future and start uh, looking looking at um, challenging for the title in maybe a few years. So I'm going to just 
retire from Fiorentina, yes. And now I am all out on Inter Milan. So, that's coming up. <laughs> I'm excited about this one. I'm actually playing a little bit of a... This one's got a bit of a twist, eh? A tactics review and you actually get to see a game at the end. How is a target man going to play up to Barcelona in the Champions Cup final? Really hope we do uh, do pretty good here, guys, because I wasn't expecting it. I totally forgot about this game. And you are now having the luxury of watching me play uh, one of the matches. So, awesome. Let's just switch to that. Whatever, I'm not bothered about you. Respond. Uh, reject all offers for now. Right, so team selection, switch you out because you are injured. Ooh, I can't have you. Yeah, best thing to do, pick without restriction, best 11. Get rid of the players that you can't have. And so we need a left and a right. So let's put him over here. And him. Oh, Sanchez. Sanchez, Sanchez, Sanchez. Let's put Sanchez on the left. Away. So Sanchez on the left and on the right. Defensively. Yeah, he can play on the right, can't he? Yeah. Ashley Young. Still a bit young, still a bit young, actually young. <laughs> but, uh, yep, I'm happy with that. Defensive midfielder, can't play Moses there. Uh, he's injured. Esposito, if you can get him, get him. He is a mint strike for the future. And he'd look 17 years old and he actually looks half decent already. So that's just a quick little tip there. So, yeah, right. So, Lukaku, Martinez and Ericsson. Let's go. Let's go for it, guys. Ooh. Excited. So excited. <laughs> All right then. So passionate. Ooh, the fans have been fantastic for us. Oh no. Stressed them out. Send coach. Okay. All right. Let me just uh, change this. Go slightly slower. Key highlights. Let us go. Okay. Straight away, look, they scored. Not good signs. Not good signs at all. Oh no. I might be. I might be ch changing stuff here. Come on, focus, guys. Focus. Concentrate. Lukaku holding the ball up like a proper target man. Go on, lad. Come on, defend. There we go. Nice one. Get it. Oh. Break his legs. De Jong. Good player. Good player. It's not... At least we're not 2-0, Dan. Eh? I mean, that's that's a plus thing. Go on, get him. Big lad's head. Ooh. Ooh, Lukaku. Big lad. 1-0 Barcelona in the Champions League final. I'm still, I'm, I'm actually happy that I'm getting to show you something like It's a little bit different, a little bit of a spin into it on the uh, tactic reviews. And uh, no, not Messi. Messi is incredible. Going a bit slow, isn't it, guys? I'm going to speed it up a bit. There we go. Faster our lights. Boom. Get it in there. Come on, guys. Push forward a bit and end of the uh, end of the half. Are they going to do it? Nope. So one nil for Barcelona. Not too bad. We've actually had the uh, better shots and uh, shots on target. So we're not doing too bad. Unfortunately, Griezmann is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Right. Team talk. Full on aggressive. Show me something else. Boom. Harsh boss. <laughs> Oh no, now they're, all, now they're all thinking. Go on, go on, lad. Go on, Lukaku. Oh no, lad, pass it. Go on. Oh, God, I thought he wouldn't shoot. Oh, Ter Stegen. 
Come on. At least get a goal. Make, make the game interesting. Demand more. Come on, lads. Oh, it's a penalty, isn't it? You're joking me. Messi's going to score. Right, let's go uh, attack him. Making sure who's playing pants. Lukaku is, but... No, Ericsson, you're coming off, mate. Borelli, you're coming on. And defenders, you're doing rubbish. Uh, let's put Bastoni on. Hopefully, this can make a little bit of a change. I've gone attacking, and it's probably not. No, is it Bob? 3 0. Not doing so good, guys. Not doing so good. Oh, no. Well, the tactic isn't going great against uh, Barcelona, unfortunately. But uh, they are they are an incredible team. And they're definitely looking like they're going to uh, gonna win the cup. And I haven't been able to showcase the target man and Romelu Lukaku. You've seen a bit of the uh, hold-up play that has been doing. But oh, that's a shame. Would have been nice to go all the way to penalties and win it. Oh, into Milan again. Well, he is, he is flicking it on. You can see that gets on his head and he is passing it. I mean, he's doing pretty well as that target man. Maybe just switch up the little tactic a little bit more. Try and, oh, you did, what are you doing passing on oh, like that, man? Oh, this game ruins me. Well, that wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> they absolutely annihilated us, uh, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, we got to the uh, final of the Champions League. Uh, not too bad on that. Passionate, whatever. Everyone's everyone's annoyed now. Three 0 Oh well. Who's that? Leg Lenglet. Never seen him before. Centre back, French. So yeah, that was the tactic, guys. We got a bit of money from it. And uh, so, yeah, this is Tucker Jobs Gaming. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the little twist at the end where you actually got to see a game, you actually got to see us lose. So that wasn't fun, but uh, yeah, it was really. Everyone loves playing football, man. I like playing, uh, playing the game anyway, so no matter win or lose, it's all fun and games for me. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, subscribe, uh, like the video, and obviously more are going to be on the way. And uh, see you later. Bye.